Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of Craft Miss. If you're new here, welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm Jen, a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest, and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. On this channel, you'll find an assortment of design and illustration related tutorials as well as studio vlogs. For December though, I like to do a creative take on Vlogmas, Craft Miss. We will be doing some fun and festive crafty projects each week. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through my process of creating customized stockings. You can add your family's names using heat transfer vinyl. In this case, I'm going to be using a glitter vinyl, a basic stocking and a color of your choice. I'm just going for the regular old red and white version, a standard grip mat, tweezers or other tools to weed out your vinyl, the Silhouette Portrait 3, and an iron. It's really simple. Let's get designing personalized stockings. In my case, my heat transfer vinyl comes with a carrier plastic, um, so you won't need any kind of transfer paper. So first, I designed the names in an app like Affinity Designer on my iPad, but you can also do this on your desktop. And I suggest keeping the letters bold and thicker so it's easier to see and easier to weed, which is just basically pulling the letters out of the vinyl after it's cut. Then I cut the names using the Silhouette Portrait 3. I load the files into my system and I make sure that my registration marks are turned off as this isn't a print and cut. Um, you can manually mirror your design once you've opened it up and loaded it onto your workspace. What I like to do is just quickly change the material from whatever it is to heat transfer glitter. And then I make sure that the correct portrait machine is selected so that it knows what auto detection is needed. Um, and in this case, it's just a basic cutting tool. I'm gonna select cut because I have a PNG with transparency. It's kind of similar to an SVG file um, for my tool. And then I'm gonna hit send. And then what's nice is that it'll give you a warning if you haven't mirrored. It'll ask you if you wanna mirror your cut. I'm gonna select yes. And then I'll just wanna make sure that I have everything loaded to my machine. Once I've placed my vinyl shiny side down onto the sticky part of my mat, and I've lined it up with the upper left-hand side, I'll load it to my machine. The machine does all the hard work. It cuts the whole word out for me. And once those names are cut, I just have to weed out the, the letters. Basically, I've removed all the excess vinyl from around the final cut. And like I said, it can be a pain if you choose a font that is really detailed, but in this case, I just chose a really basic font. I was able to pull everything off really quickly. You also want to make sure you don't forget the little pieces inside the letters like the O. And once I've weeded everything, all that remains on that plastic carrier is the, the letters that I'm gonna use for my transfer. In order to get them from my stocking, all I have to do is flip over my transfer so that the matte side, the like non-shiny side, is facing down on the white area of my stocking that I would like the word placed. And then you can just iron over the plastic. I know that sounds scary, but this plastic is designed exactly for this whole process. So you could choose to put like a little towel over if you feel more comfortable doing that, but you can just iron right onto that plastic piece. And after I've applied gentle pressure on that higher setting, then I can slowly start to pull the plastic piece up and check to see if my letters have adhered to the surface area. If you find that some of the glitter is pulling up, just place that plastic back down and then apply additional pressure to the letters that you're having some issues with. Um, I like to kind of focus on corners and then slowly you can pull the rest of the plastic piece up and then pull it completely away. Now here's the final reveal. I really like how these turned out. They have a fun crafty feel but they're high quality um, so that means they're just going to be less likely to fade or rub off because we use that vinyl glitter for the names. And that is it for Craftmas episode two. I hope you found this DIY helpful. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. It helps so much as I work to grow my little corner of the internet and you will also get notified whenever a new Craftmas video is live this month or whenever I have a new tutorial, course, or vlog up on my channel. Thanks again and I will see you in the next one. Bye.